I am a junior here at Longwood University and this year is my first year living off campus. I live at an off campus house with five of my other sorority sisters. By the way, I'm in Zeta for those of y'all who don't know. And there are six of us that live here in all. It's just an off campus house about five minutes from campus and it has been the best year living here. I absolutely love my room this year. I love the house, love all my roommates. And I am so sad. Well, it's like bittersweet because I'm excited for summer, but I'm also really sad about the seniors that are graduating, but also about leaving this room. So I will be staying in the same exact house, but I am going to be moving upstairs. But yeah, I am moving out of this room in a couple of days, which is so weird. I feel like I was just moving in here yesterday. I feel like I made it exactly how I wanted it to be. This room, I feel like I just carefully curated exactly how I wanted it to be. The only thing I wish I had with this room was a more storage space, like closet type of thing. But other than that, it has been the perfect room and I'm so excited to show y'all what exactly I've done with it. And it definitely did not look like this when I moved in. It took probably two months of me living here to fully get it to its full potential of how I wanted it to. And I feel like I'm still adding stuff and moving stuff around every day. But yeah, I'm so excited to show you all this room. So let's get into the room tour. Okay, so I never know where I should like really start with room tours, but this obviously is the door and this is just where I come in. I tried to hang something on the door earlier this year and it came off, so I gave up. This is my little affirmations I like to put on the back of the door, but I've only done it for one month, so. But yeah, I have my affirmations on the back of the door. And then coming in right next to the door, this is my dresser where a lot of my clothes are. I actually got this dresser for like $30 from a thrift store back at home and it was this really ugly color. So I painted it white and then put new hardware on it which was really pretty. This dresser honestly is the perfect size, it fits perfectly in here but I also like that it's tall and it just fits a ton of clothes and this is exactly what I was looking for and it was a lot of work to paint it and redo it but it turned out perfect. Now coming on top of the dresser, I'm not going to show you everything but I'll show you some of my favorite stuff. Um, this is my boyfriend's film camera, so he'll leave here a lot, a catch-all dish, a little teapot. This is a framed picture of my boyfriend Chase, I got this from the thrift store. And then this is actually a film picture I took. And then of course this is my Pika bid card that they gave me when I got Sweetheart. And I'll probably get it framed honestly, but I've just been leaving it up here and I've had that for about a month or so but I get so happy whenever I see it. This is just a bunch of other stuff. Mainly all this is thrifted. I have all of my crystals in here and this I got in Charleston. And then these are just two cards that Chase has gotten me. And then this is my great grandmother's antique little butterfly dish thing and I just use it as a little catch-all dish. So above my dresser is a Gustave Klimt print and I'm obsessed with it. If you notice throughout the room, there's a lot of Gustave. I will be showing you throughout the tour. Next, coming over here to the little banister. I don't really know what to call it. It's just like above the fireplace. I have my plant that has been getting so long and growing so well this whole year and it has been thriving in here. I was worried because there's not much sunlight, but it has been thriving. And like I said, I'm not gonna go through completely everything. But here is some of the stuff on here. A lot of it is thrifted. Chase actually got me these vases for our one year and those are still some flowers left from our one year so it is so cute. I have some art books. That is another art book I got from an antique mall and I painted this little painting. Most of the other stuff is thrifted or from an antique mall or something like that. And these are probably one of my favorite decorations. These are little mushroom things from the antique mall and they are so adorable. So above the banister and also, sorry, this little like rimming, I guess, of the frame is also supposed to be on that, but it fell down and I don't feel like grabbing it right now. But I have these Picasso sketch prints and I think they go perfectly up here. I was trying to figure out forever what I wanted to put up here, but then I feel like the black and white simplicity of it looked perfect with the brick and I just think it really pulled everything all together. So now coming over to this little closet corner, I like to call it, this is another little shelf shelving thing I use to display a bunch of my cute stuff. This is like my prized possession. I haven't even gotten to use it yet, but I got it from an antique mall in Virginia Beach and it is so cute. I have some books laying around, which as you see like throughout the hall, I have a lot of books just like chilling places. That is my snake plant and basically the rest of this stuff is thrifted except for this. I made this little collage thingy. 
And then this is another really cute picnic basket I got from Charleston. Sorry, I had to back up to show y'all, but this is another Gustave Klimt print. I forget what this one is called, but I just really kind of wanted it to be symmetric with this and this, like two Gustaves, because they have very similar looks, obviously. So I think it really just pulled it all together really well. And then I have one more art print right here in this little corner, which I feel looks really cute here. And I just love the white flowers with the green. So below this little shelving thing is my closet. I know it is kind of sad that I don't have a real closet, but I really like how it looks and how easily accessible it is. And I feel like it just goes really well with the room. So it really never bothered me. Um, I will normally hang my bags on some hangers up here just because I have a ton of bags and I feel like hanging them like this is really easily accessible. And then I have a bunch of clothes hung up, which I normally do have this rack like completely full, but I already took a bunch of my clothes home last time I went home. So it is a little bare right now, honestly, and I just hung some sweatshirts up here to make it a little bit more full. And then below my clothing rack, I have my shoe rack which this is constantly full and it is just a bunch of racks stacked up on each other and these are actually from five and below believe it or not so then going on to the rest of my room this is my papasan chair and the papasan chair is from the world market and it is so cute i have a blanket over like half of it but it is like this beige color with this dark brown wood and it is so cute. I love Papasan chairs and they're so comfy. So it was definitely a good addition to this room. And then just some throw pillows. I have Wolfie and then Baby Wolfie. And then Big Wolfie is right here. He's like falling down a little bit, but they all like to hang right there. Coming over to my bedside table, this is actually an antique type of thing from my house, and I don't know how old it is, but it is very old. And then I have some coasters I got from like thrift stores or anthropology. This is a really cute little strawberry clock I got from Amazon, actually. This really cute, delicate little dish is actually one of my anniversary presents that my boyfriend got me, and it is so adorable. I use it as a little catch-all jewelry type of dish. And then I have this really pretty flower pot holder from my big Danielle, actually, because she broke my other one. It's a long story, but she broke the original pot this plant was in. So she got me this new pot, and it is so gorgeous. And this pink lamp, is actually from the thrift store and it is so cute I randomly found it right before I moved back to school and I have been obsessed with it ever since so then coming up here this is a mirror I got a long time ago from the thrift store this mirror if you saw my last room tour for my room at home this was definitely in it and I just love this mirror I like that it's round so it's a little unique looking and the gold trimming is gorgeous as well and I don't know I am just obsessed with this mirror so now coming over to my bed this is what it looks like this tapestry is actually a Gustave Klimt so like these but this definitely is a little bit of a different vibe. It's called Flower Garden, I believe, and it is just so pretty, and I feel like it does a really good job of pulling the room all together, and it just makes it really bright in here, and it just looks gorgeous. And then I just have a white duvet cover and pillows. I really just like the white so that I can add accent stuff to add colors. Then I have this king size like knit throw from Target, that lays on my bed and I feel like it goes really well with that and it just meshes super cute together and I just think everything in this room overall meshed really well together slowly as I was trying to like put it all and figure out where I wanted everything to go. So yeah, this is the bed, nothing too exciting here but I think it all goes really well together and I love that I incorporated lots of greens. So now going to the last part of the room, this is my Monstera plant. She has been gorgeous all year and I think she's actually growing a new leaf somewhere. Maybe it already opened. But this is my Monstera plant. She is loving it by the window. And I just have her sitting on this black stool thing. And then I have this other little plant stool I thought I was gonna use but never did. But it's just sitting by the window at the end of my bed and I feel like it just fit really perfect here and she is thriving. Now coming over here, I have my picnic baskets. This one is turned around for some reason, but these are two picnic baskets I found from the thrift store and they are so adorable. I've honestly used them a lot more than I thought I would. So then right on top of them, I have a lot of these books and journals that I want to have right next to the desk. Really easy access to just grab. So I have them right here. 
And then this is a little watercolor that I did and I like to just set it on top because I feel like it just goes well right here. So now moving over to the desk area. This is probably the most little cluttered area of the room, but it is all good. My desk is from Amazon and it is one that I actually didn't have to assemble. You just kind of like pop it open. And this painting right here is actually like a Monet type of print and it is so beautiful. I got it from my stepmom and I love it. And I also have a lamp from Ikea. And then I have the strawberry little dish thing from the antique mall. And I always have some candles going, of course. I always want my room to smell good. And then this is actually an incense holder that I use a lot at nighttime. And then I have the mic I got for my podcast. I have not started it yet. I am starting it this summer, but I just have the mic sitting right there, I guess for inspiration for me to start it. Then I have my desk chair with a blanket on the back because I don't know, I just kind of like that look and then a purse hanging off of it. That thing is literally my junk drawer. I like to keep my room really clean, but this is my little messy area that I will throw stuff sometimes, but everyone needs one of those, I guess. And then I have my yoga mat back here, and then my little easel thing with some canvases behind it. And then normally I will lay my book bag right here. Lastly, I have this little mini chair. I don't know if you can get the vibe of how short it is, but it is tiny, but it is really cute. And I have this little thrifted quilt on it. And then I have this strawberry pillow that got passed down to me. And I don't know, I actually use this chair a lot more than I use the papasan to sit on. And my friends like sitting in this one too. And I feel like it's just a really good like size and really easily like able to move. So then the last thing I have to show you is this huge mirror from Ikea. This was the same mirror that was in my last room tour. And I will always preach by this mirror, but this is like the perfect mirror here. It is huge. You always get the best pictures in here and it is just has that really seamless look and I am obsessed with it. Oh yeah, and last last thing is this little Monet print that I have in this corner that I feel like looks really good right here. So yeah, that is it for the video. Sorry if it was kind of rushed and I look kind of crazy. We are in the midst of finals week and then I remembered that I had to film this video, changing the lighting, but it has been a time trying to figure out when I want to film this, when do I have time to do it, and I wanted to clean my room a little bit more before doing this, but I just didn't have time. But yeah, I really hope you all like this video. I am about to head home for the summer and I'm so excited. But I will really miss this room, but I am glad I got to show y'all. Sorry this was so rushed. I just have a lot of stuff to do today. But I hope y'all have a great day and I will see y'all in the next video.